Hi everybody, it's Robin with Uniquely Robins. Uh, we're going to start this week working on our kids' journals. Um, the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to make a insert thing for the middle of the journal where, where you sew it in at. And I've, I think I've cut the pieces out. Um, I was sitting there last night and um, had a napkin. <laughs> Here's my napkin. And I was folding it different ways while I was watching TV to try to figure out different things to make. And uh, I kind of came up with this. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I think I have all my PC parts cut out. Um, we'll see. For this first one anyway. This is for um, my grandsons little journal. This is the um, whoops, Fuller Friends. Okay, so how we're going to start, um, I got these envelopes at, uh, I, I believe I got them at the Dollar Tree. Um, and they look like this. And of course, they come with um, cards. Uh, it's a, a set. So they come with the cards too. We might do something with those too. I'm not sure yet. But um, they come like this. And the first thing that we're going to do, I already have done right here. And that is we're just going to snug one envelope inside the other. And make sure that it's um, down in there good to where it'll close good. Um, and then you're going to glue this outside. Which I'll go ahead and do this one because um, I'm going to make one for my granddaughters too so and I always just squirt a little bit of glue underneath there um, just for the other side to hold a little bit it doesn't have to be completely um, be sparingly with your glue because if you don't you will get um, little uh, bumps and ridges in it and I mean the paper is going to cover it up pretty much but um, I'll try to minimize that as much as possible or you could use um, double-sided tape to do this or um, if you have a good uh, stick glue that would work and not leave you any any bumps or wrinkles um, but then it'll look like that which is what we have right here so I'll put this aside because this will be for hers um, you're going to need uh, whatever size envelope you want to use you know whether you're making a small journal big journal um, you use whatever envelopes you want to use or you have on hand. Um, that doesn't really matter. But you're going to need four. And this is two of them. Um, and we're going to cover this before we put the other two on. And I'll show you why when we get to that part. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I had these for the insides. I've got to try to remember. I think I had these for the insides. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we're going to put them on like this. That way we have a pocket on each side. Um, I had thought about cutting these down a little bit. Uh, just because it's for kids and, you know, they have little fingers and uh, aren't totally coordinated yet. So let me see if I bring, let me just trim these down just a tiny bit for the inside. Just because they are kids. If this was for an adult, I wouldn't worry about it. But since it's for kids, I'm just going to take a little extra off um, to give them a little more room there. And this, you can cover this if you like. Um, I have a piece of scrap here. If I cut this scrap piece, See my cut if I can cut straight I hope if you cut you a piece of scrap and just put it inside there um, probably been better if I use the same color but I don't have a big enough scrap of that and I didn't think to cut another one out so you can do it like that Oops, move. And when you glue these down, that's going to hold your scrap paper in place. Um, so you could do that. Um, I think if I did, I might trim these off, though. Let me think. 
No, I don't think so. I don't think it actually looks bad there because it's white. Um, the first time I started this and was going to cut out, I used these envelopes, uh, envelopes, but the uh, inside is a dark color and I just didn't like the way it looked. So we went to these ones instead. So yeah, if we glue those on there, I think the, these little side pockets are fine. Um, Cause, like I said, this is going to be sewed into the middle of your journal. Uh, let me glue these on and then I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to try to tack this. I'm not going to glue this down, glue this down, but I am just going to squirt just a tiny bit on each side just so it doesn't move around on me. And like I said, you may want to use the same color if I would have thought about it. Instead of just flying by the seat of my pants like I normally do, I probably would have cut another piece of this to put in there. But but that doesn't look bad. I mean, it comes with the kit. It goes, it all goes together. So, we're going to glue these down. And I like a little bit of the white showing around the outside. And believe it or not, I'm not going to ink these. <laughs> I know, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Now, I did mess up one thing. Let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, I can. Um, I want to glue here and not on the paper because I want this to be a pocket. So, don't do what I just did. I know you were probably yelling at me too, saying, you said those were gonna be pockets. <laughs> so let's start here. Put your glue on this side. I know I went up a little far on that side, but that's okay. It'll wipe off. And then once you get it where you want it, you can wipe that little bit of excess off. As long as you get it up quick enough, usually, excuse me, it's pretty forgiving through there. So, there we have our little pockets. And that gives them a little more room to get their, their little uncoordinated fingers in there. <laughs> okay, so now we have the inside. Now I'm going to fold this because we didn't fold this piece in the middle yet. So, we're going to um, line this up best as I can and I'm going to burnish that so that middle piece gets folded down really well so it'll lay pretty flat in your journal okay now normally when you add yeah, here's my envelope. To make sure when you add an envelope um, to the other side you're gonna to wanna to put this on first so that this covers your flap there and hides it. But instead of hiding it this time, I wanna embrace it and I'm going to make this a little pocket here too, a little um, tuck spot. So that's why I um, glued this on first this time. This time. And so it's gonna go on there like that. You're gonna put it backwards and you're going to glue this down. So I'm going to take, and I'm just going to glue up this side, just up the side a little bit, and I'm going to glue down along the bottom. Okay, so that way when we put it on, we're going to have a little pocket when it dries, a little tuck spot there. So we can put... Um, some little tags or something in there for them. So that's one side. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it's all straight. If I can get it straight. There we go. And we're going to beat along here. And up the sides. Oops, I think I missed that spot right there. 
There we go. And then we're going to glue that down. And I know you're thinking, well, you left white here, but that seems like a lot of white. And that's because we're going to cover that. Just have a little tuck spot there. And I have two little pieces we're going to put on there, which is going to match our inside, which is cool because that'll bring it all together a little better. So see, there's a little bit of method to my madness. Not a lot, but a little bit. Oh, that is so crooked. I can tell I cut that by hand. Oops, I almost put it on upside down. And then we have just a little bit of white around that. Not the best cut job because, oh, and um, also thought um, these envelopes were, um, if I can find one here now, I don't know where they went. They ran away from me. Goodness, what did I do with it? Well, that's not it. Okay, well. Anyway, here's one. Oh, that one's stuck. Here's one. Okay, these ink envelopes had this kind of a flap on it, and I wanted it to be straight because I knew I wanted to use that as a tuck spot. So I just found a spot on there that I wanted, how big I thought I wanted it, and I just cut them, cut them off straight. Um, just so if you have a rounded envelope, you can still do it. Just chop them up. And if you have squared envelopes on the end, then you're perfect off the bat. Okay, so there we have our two little flaps. So when we close that, we can open it this way. We can open it this way, and we can flip it out this way. Okay. Now you can also just close these up and trim the tops and make the tops pockets too. So however, however you want to do that. I got stuck a little bit there. Do want it to be stuck. That. Okay, so when you open the middle of your envelope or your um, journal, the middle of your journal, this will be the first page you see. Now, if you notice, these are the same size. So if I go and um, sew these down, this is going to be hard to close. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to trim these off a little bit and then re-glue them. So they're just a little shorter than the other one. You know, it doesn't take much, just so you can open it up uh, just a little bit. And then I'm going to glue them back closed. You can use um, double-sided tape to do this or glue, or you can, um, you can use, whoops, washi tape if you have some washi tape that matches your stuff you can just run a strip down there and fold it over um, that would work perfect actually i just don't have any washi tape i have to get me some of that but as of right now i don't have any so we will just use glue open i need to get me some washi tape just because i've never really played around with it and I've seen some stuff people have done with them, with it, and, and they're really cool, so I need to give me some. Okay, so I'm gonna probably, this goes this way, because I don't want my little, uh, little guy here to be upside down. So this will be the first page that we see. So I may have to trim the papers I cut for that. Yep, just a tiny bit on the edge. So let me do that real quick. just thought about that. It's 
gonna hit when you open it and we don't want that to happen. So we'll just trim these down a little bit too. Okay. I think we're gonna put this little guy on this one. He's so cute. And most of the signature on the, for the inside of our journal was probably going to be a lot of blank pages because they are children and they're going to want to draw on them and scribble, you know. So we don't want to take up all the room with... We'll put some pretties in there, but not as much as you'd think. Now on the inside, I have these that are going to go... Now you can leave these as pockets as well. I'm not going to just because I don't think the little kids need that many pockets, but you can leave these as pockets if you want, but I'm just gonna kind of tack that down. But if you use this same idea for like a an adult's journal, you may want to put more pockets in it then. Then I'm going to for a child one because they're just going to lose all the stuff inside anyway but that's okay they'll learn eventually may as well get them started while they're young right I'm thinking I didn't cut enough pages either I wasn't thinking about I might have but I'm not sure we'll see And I just kind of took the uh, plainest ones, really, for this. So I can use the really pretty ones inside the journal. Okay. We're going to put this other little guy here. Little penguin. Oops. Been peroxide in my finger and putting neosporin on it and trying to leave it open a little bit during the day to oh, I did cut enough okay um, and it was getting so much better and then I hit it this morning it's on I cut like the nail itself and a, a chunk out of right there and that's evidently really tender through there because it really started bleeding all over again. Must be a very bleedy spot right there because man, it bled forever. But it's getting there, almost healed up. This is not gonna be a humongous, a long video today because um, I do have a couple of I gotta pick something up for a test and I got another test I gotta go do today, so. Feeling more and more like a guinea pig, I guess. And hopefully I'll get some answers from all this crap. And mind your fold when you do that. Don't get too awful close to your fold that it's not going to fold, which I almost just did. I would have actually cut that off a little bit more. Okay. So this is going to be our first page. And I want to take and put... Um, let me find the kit. There it is. There were some little sayings on one of these. That's the only one. There's 
so cute. Yeah, okay. I want to cut one of these little things. Your first breath took ours away. Most precious jewels you'll ever have around your neck or your Okay, your first breath took ours away. Sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. With it, uh, well, I think we'll use that little guy there. Um, these are um, mainly, I think she made these for to use if you're making a baby book for like your daughter or something is having a baby and you're making her a baby book. Um, that's why the sayings are that way. But uh, I just thought they would be so, so cute as a little child's journal. So much shadows in here. Kept hearing this noise while I was sitting here earlier and uh, was texting my husband at lunch. I always try to wait till after his lunch so I can talk to him a little bit before I turn my phone off to do my videos. And I was sitting here and I kept hearing this buzzing noise. And I was like, what is that? And I just realized what it is. There's a wasp stuck between the window and my blind up here. So hopefully he just stays right where there he is until I can find something to kill him with or shoo him out the window. I don't know how he got in the window. That window is not even open. But they seem to get in every little crack and crevice, don't they? I just wanted to trim this up a little bit and uh, there, make it a little more narrow because I think we're going to put him right on here. Okay, so when you get to the middle of your signature, um, well, I was gonna try to show you, but I'm gonna use a piece of this just to show you. Say, this is our journal, and this is the middle of our journal. And then this will go right in here and you'll sew him right into the middle of your journal. So then when you open this page, you have this little, open it this way, open it this way. We have our little tucks and pockets and open it this way and open it this way. And you can add to this to make this as go as out as long as you want it to go out. If you're making a photo album, this would be great to put in the middle. Uh, because you can just keep adding to it to where they just fold out and fold out however many you want for like, um, what size is this? Um, goodness. I need to take a day off and straighten up my craft room. I can't find my ruler again. I have the worst time so I can keep track of that ruler. I was going to measure this for you, but because it looks like about a three and a half by five. I know I have somewhere a whole drawer full of rules. There they are. They're not ones I like. My good one is out here somewhere, but this will work. This is a four and a half by five and a half. So you can get a good size pictures on there. Uh, with your matting around it and stuff, that would look really nice. But we're doing a kid's journal. I digress. Okay, so we have this one done. Our cute little thing to go in the middle of our journal. All we gotta do is put some little tags and stuff in there, which we will do. 
I reaffirm that I didn't glue any of this down. I knew that side was gonna stick a little on me because that's the side I did put glue on, but it's dry enough now that it should be, shouldn't stick anymore. Okay, so we have that one. I'm trying to see uh, where we were time-wise. I think we're okay. Now, um, for our little girl, I have some picked out for hers. Uh, now, hers I haven't put together yet because I wanted to, um, oh yeah, I guess I did that first page. Uh, the first page I did. Let me fix this. Is, there we go. Wasn't wanting to stick down. I haven't cut the pages down. I had um, the other envelopes I was going to use were bigger envelopes so I cut them for that that envelope so now I'll have to cut them down for this one so but that's okay we can do that okay now let's see we want what we want where I like these bubbly looking ones so those will definitely be on the inside of one I think those will be on the inside of one. Now with hers, that kit didn't have as many, um, let's see they're all big ones. They didn't have as many uh, ones that I could cut. Well, I guess those would work. To actually put, you know, the, the pretty little guys, oh, he'll work. Oh, well, you won't see his balloons, though. They're a little bit... I could shrink them down. I guess I could do that. Or I could use those two. One of them. Hmm. Well, let's do the inside ones, and then we'll think about it. Actually, I had these to go on the outside, um, the butterflies and then the rainbows. But I don't want her to be upset because she doesn't have little animals on hers like his has on his. So, you know how kids can be. So, we will start on the insides. I will find a couple of those even if I have to shrink them down to use. I know I want to use this bubbly one because it looks really cool. Um... And I want to use the butterflies. Let's try those first. Let's try those first. Okay. So we're going to use these on the inside of this one. So let's do our uniquely robin measuring. Cut those off. Save those scraps because you might need them for like little pockets or tuck spots or okay. Just scoot over. There we go. So these are gonna go on the insides here. Is that big enough? I'm wondering. If this one is big enough to put in the middle here. Uh, doesn't go all the way down. But I think it'll work. I think it'll work. So let's just tack that down. Tack this side down. doesn't go all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top but with this envelope being white it's um, better I'm gonna put my fold in before I put my other papers on I think Might be easier for me so 
Sorry about my finger looking so nasty, but. But I'm accident prone, evidently. In my old age. Never used to be, but I sure am anymore. I love this paper. I still say it looks like blown bubbles. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? Gosh, I know you guys were yelling at me too, weren't you? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I just did it again. All right, let's see. I'll leave that in there. Goodness me. This is why when I have tests some days, I don't even do a video because I'll do nothing but mess up because I've got my mind on other things and I shouldn't have. My mind should be here with you when I'm here with you. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe I did that again. Well, yeah, I can. Because it's me. I can. Alright, I'm going to leave this in there while we do the outside because that way it won't stick like the other one did. Alright, I think. What do we want to do? I like that. I like it a lot. All right, well, let's put these other two on first. So, one's going to go here. And one's going to go there. I'm going to put it on upside down again. Like that. Okay. So, let's glue him down. one of my spots on there somewhere I have a an eraser it's actually a glue eraser but this pen's so light it will erase it okay so there's one side hopefully I got it yeah I did lay it flat after you glue it down so that it doesn't stick um, that back side doesn't stick in the crease where we put that glue okay get in there all right that up so it doesn't stick there. I want it to stick here but not the other spot. All right let's move this out of the way. Now I just took like scrap pieces like this. Um, let's see if these are thick enough. I don't think so though. No they're not big enough. We're going to cut these first so I can use the scrap pieces off of them. Because these are going to go in here. We're going to go on this one and that one. So, man, I thought I cut those together, but if I did, I did a really crooked job. Okay, I want it to go this way. So the butterflies are going the right direction. Cut there and about there. Okay. So that side. 
side. And I know those are gonna be too small, but these should be big enough for the little flappy parts. So these are going to go on here. Now again, I wanna glue this down because we're not making a pocket. You could, but we're not gonna, this one. Or I'm not gonna, you might. Make sure when I put the other pictures on, my butterflies are going the right way on this side. I don't get it upside down. We will put the other pieces on, the, the, the animal pieces, I should say, the outside pieces on tomorrow. Um, that way I can shrink them down enough to put where I want them. That's the beauty of these digital kits, really. Okay, I need to get my bone folder out of there now. Come here, you. Alright, make sure it's still open. Make sure it's open on this side. Alright. Can't believe I did that again. I really can't. Okay, these go this way. We have that one. We're gonna put animals on that one and that one. So when you do inside here, I think we're gonna use the rainbows for that one. I did cut these on the cutter, but they sure don't look like I did. Okay, about there. finger. Okay, so these will go here and here. Did I glue this down already? No, I did not. Get in there. Can I get in there? It doesn't have to be perfect because like I said, your paper's going to hold most of it down. Now, we want to make sure our butterflies are going this direction. So we want to make sure this one, our rainbows, go the same direction. Then when we put our animals on, we need to make sure they are going the right direction. So y'all help me out there. If I start to put it on the wrong way, yell at me. Double check again, yep, that way. I didn't trust myself. We will finish the outside of this up tomorrow. And then I have another little journal insert thing that we're gonna make um, to add to your repertoire. The next video, I always say tomorrow and I hate saying tomorrow, I should say the next video. I try to do videos Monday through Friday, but um, I can't really promise that right now with all this other stuff going on. So hopefully it will be, but I don't want to promise that. Okay, so now, those are our outsides. Here's our inside. So we still have to cover this little flap. And this is what I did. Let's see, do we want to use that? Or do we want to use that? I think the rainbows. Do they look better? I really like the butterflies. The rainbows are a little longer though, so we'll use those. I don't know why they are, but they are. But we'll save these because we might need them for something else. A nice little tuck spot somewhere or never know. 
Okay, what I did was I held this on approximately where I wanted it to be. And then I tried to follow the way the envelope is normally done because I want a little white around the outside edge. Um, I think I actually did this, well I know I actually did this before I put them on the envelope, but I didn't this time, so. And then you want to go right down here. All right, and then I can just use this one as a template for my other one to make it easier. Okay. So these we're going to put on this way. I'm making these for the two younger ones. And then I need to make a cookbook for my older grandson. He has been wanting one for since I made the other cookbooks I made. And I just have been so swamped with everything. I haven't had time to do it. And I feel bad because I should have already had it done for him. So I need to get that done next. So much stuff I need to get done. Okay. So there we have that. So we just need the two outside pieces. I think, what time is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, we will do those tomorrow because I don't want to keep you real long and I still need to jump in the shower and change the clothes, so. We will pick up there tomorrow. And I will pick out two pieces and have them cut out ready for the fronts of these. And then we will work on the other little thing that we're going to make for inside the journals. And then we'll be able to start on the journal. So, um, okay. So we have our two books other than this one just needs the front and the back piece page on so we're getting there but everybody have a good day um share some love to the girls below show your family some love today have a great day god bless you all thank you for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already subscribed i appreciate it if you would um helps me out a lot you guys have a great great day bye bye